Are you curious about how an Identification Placement and Review Committee, also known as an IPRC meeting, is initiated and what happens at a meeting? This video shares information about how to request an IPRC meeting for your child and what to expect on the day of the meeting. The Identification Placement and Review Committee, or IPRC, is a school-based committee that decides whether your child is exceptional and the placement, regular or self-contained class. A student can be referred to an IPRC either through a written request from you, the child's parent or guardian, or upon the request of the school principal. After initiating the request, the principal will provide you with a copy of HWDSB's Guide for Parents and Guardians to the IPRC, as well as a written notification of the approximate date of the IPRC meeting. This will be provided within 15 days of receiving your request. To ensure that the committee has accurate information about your child, the school principal may ask you about your child's strengths and needs, as well as for health information or medical documentation. If needed, a psychological assessment or additional educational assessments may be completed. You will receive a copy of all information that will be considered at the meeting. You and your child, if 16 years of age or older, will receive a written invitation from the IPRC chair or principal about the date, time, and place of the meeting. This letter will ask you to indicate if you can attend. It is very important for you to attend your child's IPRC. On the day of the IPRC meeting, you will come to your child's school or the location provided in the invitation, and after signing in at the office, you will be welcomed by school staff and escorted to the meeting room. After everyone arrives, the meeting will begin. The chair of the IPRC meeting will begin by welcoming all attendees and will initiate introductions. There will be a few people at the meeting that you will likely already know. The IPRC is made up of at least three school board employees. This includes the chair of the committee, which is either the school principal or superintendent. The other members could include another principal, a vice principal, a learning resource teacher, a classroom teacher, or a specialized services consultant that are connected to your child's school and familiar with your child. Other people at the meeting may include additional school board staff, such as a special education staff, psychoeducational consultant, or a speech and language pathologist, as well as representatives from outside agencies that are involved with your child and who can provide further information or clarification. You are also encouraged to bring a support person with you. This could be a friend or a family member. This person may listen to the information, help you take notes, and support your understanding of the committee's decision and placement options. An interpreter, such as a sign language interpreter, or interpreters of other languages may be present if required. We want to ensure that you understand what is being said and the decisions made. Please let your child's school know if you require an interpreter. Following the introductions, the chair of the IPRC meeting will share the purpose of the meeting which is to determine if the child is exceptional according to the Ministry of Education definitions, and if so, determine the appropriate educational placement for your child. All participants, including parents or guardians, will be invited to share information to assist the committee in understanding the student's strengths, needs, and progress. This information will have been collected from student observation, educational assessments, health and medical documentation, psychological reports, and other available reports. You are encouraged to share information about your child since you know your child best. After all of the information has been presented and discussed, the committee will have several tasks to complete. First, the committee will describe and provide a statement of your child's strengths and needs which are based on the information that was shared. Next, the committee will decide whether your child is exceptional. Remember, students are identified according to the categories and definitions of exceptionalities provided by the Ministry of Education. If your child is deemed exceptional, the committee will discuss the type of placement that will best meet your child's needs. We know that whenever possible, student needs are best met in a regular classroom with their peers. Please know that before the IPRC will consider placing any child in a self-contained special education class, it will consider whether placement in a regular class with appropriate special education services 
will meet the child's needs and is consistent with your preferences. If the committee decides that your child should be placed in a self-contained special education class, it must state the reasons for that decision in its written statement of decision. The committee will then discuss and make additional written recommendations regarding special education programs and services deemed by the committee to be important for understanding and meeting the learning needs of the student. Finally, the committee will summarize the information in a written statement of decision sheet. If you agree with the decision, you will be asked to sign the statement of decision at the meeting, or you may take it home to sign and return. Once the signed statement of decision is returned, the board will notify the school at which the special education program is provided. In rare instance, parents may disagree with the IPRC's identification of their child or the placement decision. If you have any questions or would like further clarification after the IPRC meeting, please speak with the principal of your child's school. For more information about the IPRC process, please see the Guide for Parents and Guardians to the Identification, Placement and Review Committee on the HWDSB website. All students identified through the IPRC process must have an Individual Education or IEP developed. Your child may likely already have an IEP in place prior to the IPRC meeting to support their learning. If so, the IPRC information and formal identification information will be added to their current IEP. The IEP is a living document that describes the student's strengths and needs, the special education program and services, and may include accommodations, modifications, and or alternative expectations. Detailed information about IEPs can be found in a separate video. We would like to conclude this video with a few important things to remember about the IPRC process. It is important for you to attend, participate in, and understand the IPRC process and decisions that are being made about your child. If there is something that you do not understand, please ask. Consider bringing a picture of your child to the meeting. This is helpful for those who have not yet met your child. It is a good reminder that the committee is discussing a person, not just a placement. Bring someone with you to the meeting to listen, take notes, or help you remember and understand what happens at the meeting. Focus on the strengths of your child. Create a list of your child's strengths and interests to share with the group. Ask your child to identify what they are good at and their strengths and interests to bring their voice to the meeting. Not all placement opportunities are offered at all schools. You have the right to request a regular class placement in your child's neighborhood school. Prior to signing the IPRC decision sheet, make sure that you understand the information about the identification and placement. If you have any questions, please ask. HWDSB staff are here to help. We view parents as partners in your child's education. If you have any questions or concerns about your child or the IPRC process, please reach out to your child's classroom teacher, learning resource teacher, principal, or school specialized service consultant. Additional information about IPRCs can be found on HWDSB and the Ontario Ministry of Education websites. Take time to review the information and we welcome your questions. Remember, we all want what is best for your child and to help them learn and be successful.